So here we are, we made it, our final lesson of the year. Um, and today's lesson is another reaction lesson, and it's the reaction between acids and carbonates. So again, by the end of this lesson, what I'd like you to be able to do is predict the name of the salt made in an acid and a carbonate reaction, and not get confused with the neutralization reaction or a metal and acid reaction. So before we look at the new reaction, let's look at last week's. So there were two questions on the screen. If you pause the video now, you can complete the questions and then we'll check our work. So how did you do then? Um, the two products that are always made in neutralization reaction. So let's just remember neutralization is a reaction between an acid and an alkali. And the two things that are always made are a salt and a water. So the other two uh, at the bottom there are, are, are alkalis and our acids acting to get, uh, reacting together. So those are neutralization reactions. So we know we're going to make a salt and water, but can we name the salt? So in the first one, it would be zinc chloride and water. And in the second one, it would be copper sulfate and water. Well, I don't know if you got that right. And if you're still struggling to name the salt, you're going to have to crack that today because that is a big part of today's lesson. So from experience, this word carbonate gives people uh, some worry because they don't really understand what it means. So I'm going to show you a picture of a carbonate and it's obviously a rock. And it's the kind of rock you'd have in your garden at home. It's the kind of rock you might walk in or you might put on top of a pot. Um, it's also used in building. And this rock here is called calcium carbonate or limestone. And if we were to look at it in symbols, it would look like that. So it would be calcium, CA, and then our carbonate bit, bit on the end is the CO3 bit. Okay. Um, another example of a carbonate might be, you'll have seen this picture. Uh, Rennies are the kind of tablets that sometimes people take when they've got heartburn. And Rennies have an awful lot of calcium carbonate in them also. But they also have another carbonate in there called magnesium carbonate. And so if you look at the symbol there, Mg is the magnesium, and that CO3 again is the carbonate bit. So what actually happens when you take one of those Rennies? So let's say you've got an awful lot of acid in your stomach and it's causing you heartburn, and you take that metal carbonate. What might be made? Well, we're going to make our salt, as always, and we're going to make water. So that's the neutralization bit, and that's the good bit that makes the heartburn go away, doesn't it? But I don't know if you ever realised, when you take those tablets, you kind of burp a lot. And the reason you're burping is you're making a gas. You're making carbon dioxide gas. And therefore, you've got to burp to get rid of that gas. So let's look at an example. Let's put an acid name and a metal uh, carbonate name to this reaction. So we'll start with sulfuric acid and lithium carbonate. And the first thing you need to be able to do is to predict the name of the salt, isn't it? So can you think how to do that? Yeah, it's pretty similar to how we did it last week. So the first name of the salt would be the name of the metal in the carbonate, so it would be lithium. And if you remember, sulfuric becomes sulfate. So we would make lithium sulfate and we would always make water and carbon dioxide. What about this one then? We know that that's our generic equation. That's the one we must always go back to. But what about this example? What if it was nitric acid and copper carbonate? So I'd like you just to pause the video now and see if you can work that one out. Okay, so we've got copper as the name of our metal, we've got nitric acid, so that's going to be nitrate. So we've got copper nitrate as the name of our salt, and it would make water and carbon dioxide. Okay, well done, we got to the end. So what I would like you to do is, I've put six reactions on the screen, and what I'd like you to do is to complete them on a Google document or on paper and email them to your teacher. Uh, it'd be better if you did it through Google Classroom because then we can get that mark on the system for you. What I'd just like to point out is we have a mixture here of metal and acid, neutralization reactions, and acid and metal carbonate. Okay, thank you for doing the videos over the last three months. Take care, everybody. And have a great summer.